Sony is introducing 1440p support on the PlayStation 5 through its new beta software update. Hi friends and welcome to Victor's Reality. Today we have some breaking news from Sony as they have confirmed and announced that the system software beta kicks off today for invited participants in select countries. Sony is now offering 1440 support on the PlayStation 5, a long needed display option for everyone that has amazing 1440p monitors. As you know previously, the PlayStation 5 display options were limited to 4K 60Hz or 1080p 120Hz. This does not pertain to anyone that has a 4K 120Hz monitor as that is the best of the best. But there was no in-between like the Xbox where you can do 1440p 120Hz on 1440p monitors. So this inclusion of the 1440 support is amazing news. Native 1440 support is coming. So let's take a look at all the information they announced today. The amazing thing here is that you can see 1440 support at 120Hz with HDR. But just take note, Sony is confirming that VRR is not supported currently in this iteration of the software update. Hopefully Sony can get that working and it'll put it on par with Xbox. But that doesn't matter. We're in the right direction with 1440 support, especially with 120Hz HDR. You can see here, friends, the PlayStation 5 beta introduces support for 1440p HDMI video output, enabling players to choose an additional visual setting on compatible PC monitors and TVs. If the game you're playing supports 1440p rendering, you can experience native 1440p output on your display. Or if you're playing a game with a higher native resolution like 4K, then you may benefit from improved anti-aliasing through super sampling down to 1440p output. Here with the options, you can check if your HDMI device is compatible by selecting test 1440p output under the screen and video options within the system settings. And before we check out the rest of the software update, let me tell you a little bit about the 1440p monitors that I have and that would benefit from this inclusion of the 1440p support. Now, any 1440p monitor that is capable of 120Hz HDR or non-HDR would benefit from this software update. Like the monitors that I have that I will be testing very soon once I'm able to get the update are the Alienware AW2721D, the Alienware AW3423DW QD OLED monitor, which you know I have tested here with PlayStation 5 and we're limited to 1080p. As many of these monitors do not have 4K 60Hz signal acceptance, and if there is no from the manufacturer's side a 1440p display option, then we'd be stuck to 1080p 120Hz. So this, I'm telling you, is very important. Especially now for the QD OLED, it would look a lot clearer. Also included here would be the Dell S2721 DGF, as that also does not have a 4K 60Hz signal acceptance, so we would be stuck at 1080p 60 or 120Hz on the PlayStation 5. The LG 32GP850. With this monitor, it does accept a 4K 60Hz signal. I'm just giving you an example, but at native 1440p support, now we can have 120Hz. So again, friends, with all these monitors, we get native 1440p support with 120Hz in HDR. Now, if you don't care about the HDR, because usually monitors don't do really good HDR, not at the sub 500 level. So 1440p, 120Hz, now supported natively on the PlayStation 5, that's awesome news. Now we can all experience that. And also like the Samsung OG G7 1440p that can accept a 4K 60Hz signal. So you'd get the PlayStation 5 at 4K 60, but you weren't able to get 120Hz because you'd have to go all the way down to 1080p. Now with 1440p support at 120Hz, you can experience the clarity and the fluidity and smoothness of the PlayStation 5. Basically friends, all the monitors that you have right now, if you are a specific PlayStation 5 player, now you can experience higher resolution but still keeping the 120 hertz smoothness that you were all experiencing currently right now at 1080p if your monitor did not have a 4K 60 hertz signal. This is exciting time, friends. It's making all our monitors last a little bit longer. Well, until you need to go to that 4K 120 hertz native signal, that would be your next upgrade. And friends, that was the most important news of this update, but we also have new and improved game lists in your game library. You can now create game lists, which will make organizing your games even easier. Now you can compare your 3D audio versus stereo audio in the options menu. You can compare the differences between 3D and stereo on the same screen and then choose your preferred setting. Now you have easier access to in-progress activities. When returning to a game, in-progress activities are often shown prominently at the top of the game hub to make it as easy and as fast as possible to get back where you left off. We have new social features, request share screen. You can now request party members to start share your screen to watch their gameplay. We have now joinable game notifications when you join a party 
and a party member is playing a game that you can join, you'll now receive a notification. You can join the game directly from the notification option. We also have view new friends profiles and send stickers and voice messages in the game bar. So easier access and options to accept a friend request and to send messages. Friends, this looks like to be an amazing update for the PlayStation 5. So friends, what do you think so far on the PlayStation 5's new update? 1440p, 120Hz with HDR is amazing. Remember, no VRR support is compatible yet. That is only limited to 1080p and 4K. So we got a lot of options coming soon for the PlayStation 5. And we will be testing out this update as soon as I can on all these monitors, especially our awesome and loved 1440p, 120Hz powerhouses. From Alienware, Dell, LG, and Samsung, it's a good time to be a PlayStation 5 owner. So friends, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like as it helps the channel tremendously so more people can see it to help to make that awesome buying decision and to know about this amazing feature on their PlayStation 5 display options that are coming very soon. And consider subscribing if you want to see more information on all these beautiful monitors and monitor information in all their next generation console glory. Thanks for watching friends, stay safe out there, I'll see you guys next time. Do you want to go for a coffee? Yeah, sure.